Hello, brilliant people. So today I want to talk to you about well-being and what it means, because it's a very important concept. One of the reasons why it is such an important concept is because it enables us to focus on the things that we do want in our life rather than getting rid of the things that we don't want. So, you know, when we're thinking about, I don't want to be sick, well, then we're thinking about the fact that, you know, I don't want to catch, you know, <laughs> let us say certain viruses, or I, I don't want to get overweight, or I don't want to develop, you know, heart trouble, or, you know, whatever it is that is your particular concern. Well, when we do those kind of things, not only does it mean that we're, because we're focused on the things that we don't want, it is unfortunately then easy to get quite anxious about those things. But when we focus on what we do want, like how we want to feel like we have more than enough energy to take us through our day, or we want to be fit or vital, or we, we want to be able to you know, run up the local hill, whatever it is for you, you know, I want to be able to enjoy really healthy food and be able to you know, produce that for myself and other people really easily. Whatever it is that well-being means for you or can create that for you, it means that it's easier to focus on it. And because you're focused on it, it will tend to just happen in your life. So that is why that well-being is so important. But what does it mean? Well, well-being means that you are doing those things that make it easier for you to be you and to express yourself in the world. So you're doing the things that maintain your energy. Now, this includes, you know, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, because we are spiritual, mental, emotional, physical beings. So well-being <laughs> includes spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. So spiritual well-being is when we are connected or have some sense of who we really are and we're allowing that through. Mental well-being is when we understand what the principles of our life are, the things that matter to us, our core values if you like, and so we know that we're living our life in such a way that we are constantly increasing our core values and so therefore what we, we what we're doing is of value and that that level of um, satisfaction it builds self-confidence and and self-clarity because we start to look get clearer and clearer on the things that do create or increase our core values and the things that don't so that increases our mental well-being emotional well-being well um, emotional well-being is actually connected to our ability, a, a little bit similar to mental well-being, to, to connect to our own joy. You know, it can be love too, but you know, joy seems to be a clearer indicator for people uh, because, of course, when we're full of love, we tend to be full of joy as well. Anyway, um, but when we're, we're connected to joy inside so that it can just flow through, we well it's it's much easier to then uh, deal with things when they're tough and you know the thing is that if we have that again on an internal alignment because we know how to if you like hold our emotional self in such a way that we can feel that joy i mean for me it's being connected to the co-creative flow of all things that you know when I'm feeling connected to that it's really easy to feel that joy of creation but it's finding whatever it is for you when you have that internal alignment of joy noticing how you feel lined up on the inside and then practicing holding that that will maintain your emotional well-being obviously you know doing the things just like with our mental well-being doing the things that increase our core value doing the things that increase your healthy joy, you know, enable the joy that helps you uh, not only feel joy for yourself, but to share the joy of others, doing those things, that's also, you know, part of well-being. And then physical well-being. Well, of course, physical well-being is the one that most of us 
talk about. It's actually, but it's more than just not being sick. Physical well-being is having the energy that your system you know, can go through your day and you have plenty of energy to do all the things that you want to do. And not only that, but you have plenty of energy to maintain your physical self so that, you know, um, what you go through, you know, day to day, you know, time itself does not, does not wear heavily on you. That is part of well-being. So there you go. So well-being is more than just, I don't know, going on a diet occasionally. <laughs> well-being is understanding how you can maintain yourself and actually expand your who you really are on all levels and expand your self-expression so that you can start to experience vitality, increased energy, expansion on all levels. You know, so it, well-being is spiritual, mental, emotional, physical well-being. And of course, when we are experiencing well-being on all levels, it is much easier for us to remember that we're brilliant.